Well, you might describe it as the Van Dongen bounce. It appears the defection of the former Liberal cabinet minister to the B.C. Conservatives is giving that party a big boost in its popularity. For the first time, the Conservatives in this province find themselves in second place, tied with the Liberals, in the latest poll looking at party standings. And pollster Angus Reid says what is surprising, at least to him, is that the NDP is holding on to a solid 20-point lead. All this on a day when the Premier was announcing $700 million in export infrastructure funding. Our legislature reporter Stephen Andrew has the story. Premier Clark? It was abundantly clear as the Premier ran from reporters the last thing she wanted to talk about, her latest poll numbers. Premier, what do you think of the latest polls? The Liberals continuing to... As I to said, slide. Jung, I haven't seen them yet, so when I see them, I'll have a comment for you. And when Premier Clark does see the poll, it's unlikely she'll be happy. The NDP has a 20-point lead with 43% of the popular vote. And despite the Liberals trying to paint themselves as a coalition of free enterprise, for the first time, the Conservatives are tied for second place with the Liberals. Compared to the May 2009 election, that's a 23% drop for the Liberals, a mass exodus of support straight to the Conservatives. So now they're dead even, it's a dead split, and the NDP continues to lead, and they would form a massive majority government if the election were held this week. Angus Reid attributes the upswing in support for the Conservatives to the defection of former Solicitor General John Van Doggen to the right-wing party. Made a lot of people a little bit easy and said, well, maybe this is the way to go. We're not happy with the Liberals. We're not happy with the way Christy Clark is doing things. There's a centre-right alternative that is attractive enough for somebody of this magnitude to join. Maybe that's where we should park our vote. It's also boosting Conservative leader John Cummins' popularity. His numbers climbing as Premier Clark's continue to decline. In Vancouver today, Premier Clark announced $700 million to expand ports, roads and rail lines over the next eight years to boost trade with Asia. But the Liberals say they have not given up on the island for votes and funding. The Vancouver Island House received substantial funding over the course of the last you know, decade and will, will, will still receive dollars based on the projects that are available. But the NDP believe Clark's Families First and job creation messages are not resonating with voters. But at the end of the day, it's really going to be about who can deliver the best options for families and who can... Uh, put forward a platform that families see as being meaningful to them. But all parties know, wherever they stand today, the only poll that matters is a year away. An election that Premier Clark believes she and her party will definitely be in the running. Stephen Andrew joins us now live with more. Stephen, support for the NDP, uh, historically and currently strong on Vancouver Island uh, at 51 percent, compared to just 19 percent for the Liberals. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the key issues on the island and across the province? Well, Hudson, I mean, the economy and health care still first in the minds of uh, people that are uh, on uh, Vancouver Island. Definitely, though, uh, leadership is uh, also becoming a, a key issue right now, as well as education. And that probably is because, I mean, the leadership of Clark has been in question in recent weeks and so has uh, the teacher's job action. So I would imagine as uh, we move into the coming weeks, the House off for a couple of weeks as we get back, uh, those issues really are going to be at the uh, top of the agenda again. All right, Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thanks. You're welcome.